Hi, this is a quick tutorial on how to edit white screen using uh, Adobe Premiere Pro CC. So we've shot some white screen video up here, and we're in the assembly window, and we want to try to make it look its best as we put it into the editor. So I'm going to start by dragging this clip into the timeline, just like that. And uh, it's been a, it's, we tried to expose it to get a perfect white behind there. It looks like it's a little overexposed, so there's production flaws, but we'll try to make it look its best. And a way to get started with this, I think, is going to be to go into editing and first of all start masking this and getting the framing right because it was a little bit off and we got a little bit of microphone showing on up at the top. So to start m messing around with this I'm going to go to opacity and I'll use the pen tool and I will draw a mask around just the parts that I want to keep. Something like that. I'm going to have to move some of those points. Whoops. Add another point if we have to. There we go. And that'll give us more or less the shape that we want. Good enough. Step two, uh, I'm going to take this clip and I'm going to move it so we get a bit better framing on it. So I'll go to the motion effect and I'm going to slide it along the x-axis till I get a nice rule of thirds right about there. Headroom looks good, but that's going to give us a little bit of room for text or whatever we want to put over here graphics. And next step, we want to get a white background there. Oh, one more thing we'll do before we leave this inside of this. Under the Opacity tab, we created a mask, but the, the edge is not really feathered very strongly. Let's see if I can even show it at all. There it is. So there's a little bit of a softness to it, but I'm going to take that edge and I'm going to feather it by 50 pixels. So it's going to blend in a little bit more seamlessly. So now we've got to give it to something to blend into. And to do that, I'm going to go down to the Asset window down here, right mouse click, and create a new color mat and it's going to take on the size of the project which is 1080p right now. I'd like this to be perfectly white so I'll drag the color chooser, color picker, down to the bottom left and everything says 255 for R, G, and B. That ought to do the job. So now we have a color mat. I'm going to say this is going to be a white mat in case I use this again sometime. And I need to put that under the video layer so I'll grab this clip, move the video layer up one, move the color mat underneath, and stretch it across for the entire duration. And now I get a sense of whether this is going to blend in pretty well. And I can see it's just a little bit dingy from the production compared to the perfect white that's going on here. So next I'm going to make some adjustments to the clip itself and make it blend in a bit better. I'll go to Effects. Uh, try to go to Effects and I'll wait patiently while it doesn't respond. There it is. And I'm going to go look for a contrast. Contrast is an effect that I can toss onto it. There's brightness and contrast. So I'll put that on the clip and go over to my effects looking for brightness and contrast. And in this particular case, I'm going to take the contrast up. I think I've tried this before and it seems like I can take it up to about somewhere between 10 and 15. I like to click and drag on it, rock it back and forth until it doesn't seem to make too much difference anymore. Right about there. Wow, I got away with about 5 to 7. That's not too terrible. And it seems to be blending in pretty well. It looks like it might be a little overexposed. I can try taking the brightness down. Of course, that's going to require some more fine-tuning to the contrast. But I wonder if I can improve this thing at all. Yeah, a little bit. Just a little bit less of that. Maybe a little bit more contrast until I get rid of that shady area. So there it is. That seems to be blending in about as well as it can be. But th that gives me the perfect white screen. So the next thing that I had, I, we recorded this with a shotgun mic. This multicultural club is holding a drum. Okay, and there was a high-pitched squeal over this, so I wanted to process the audio effects. We used a shotgun mic, it was in a pretty good location, but there were production flaws in the audio. So now we're going to mess around with the audio of this. I'll go over to the audio tab, see what we have here. All right, the thing I want to do is get rid of that high-pitched squeal, and to get rid of that high-pitched squeal, I am going to use a low-pass filter. And I learned a little technique that instead of dragging a low-pass filter directly on the clip, I should drag it onto the track, onto the audio track. The audio is in track 1, and this is the audio 1 track. So if I want to put a filter in there, I'm going to put it on the entire track. By opening up Show Hide Effects and Sends, I get access to this little rack of effects that can be built into it, rather than going into the effects that were over there before. I'm going to click on Effect Selection, and I'm going to look for a filter. The filter is going to be called Low Pass to get rid of that squeal. And then I have to dial in the settings. If you go to the default and start playing it, you're going to 
compromise the original quality. The human voice, uh, the max we're going to have to worry about is maybe 10,000 hertz, 10 kilohertz. But I'll tell you what, I'll play this and I'll try dialing this up and see if we can figure it out. To win a gift basket for your mommy. Tickets will be available to buy on the second floor foyer Tuesday to Thursday this week. The winner will be announced Friday. All proceeds raised will be donated to... Okay. So we seem to have gone to about 8,500 8, hertz. And you can hear the before and the after by turning on and off this little toggle. So let's see what it sounds like with or without. A local women's shelter. So come on and let your mommy know just how much you love her. Nice. So this is the basics of the processing of the audio, of the video, all that stuff for the white screen to try to make it look its best. Uh, hopefully that helps. There are more filters that you could put into this. You could also put in a high pass. You could put in noise reduction. There's the start to it. There's how we're going to process it. Good luck. Give it a try for yourself and make sure you frame properly using the, uh, the controls that you have at your disposal.